Wasn't that Marty McFly? That who who was it? Then the cameras came on and they. Anyway. G'day ice cream lovers, welcome to this session of Scoob School. Uh, we call it the podcast, we probably should call it Session. Do you think, Madeline? Sessions, the Scoob School Session. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. You quick made a note, note about that. Uh, look, oh, grateful to have you here. Welcome to the Scoob School Session. Uh, we do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Slices Concession. Uh, look, Chino and Evan and all the crew there at Slices Concession do a great job of providing uh, near new, new, used, uh, refurbished ice cream equipment. Uh, not many people around the country are actually putting the care into getting some uh, used ice cream equipment that is uh, great quality, it's certified, it's checked. Uh, good crew there at Slices Concession. So I want to thank them for the sponsorship of this video. And uh, the link for their information will be below here. Now, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between three phase and single phase. It's a question that comes up quite a lot. Uh, in full disclosure, I'm not an electrician. I have not had any electric training, uh, but over 20 years in the business, particularly working with uh, a international uh, manufacturer of ice cream equipment. I've learned a little bit more about this process. Again, I would always go back to your licensed electrician, get some professional help, but this will give you an idea. So three phase and single phase. Here's single phase power, and uh, let's do three phase uh, in a different color here. So three phase power. You'll often see them described like that or listed like that, 1P, 3P, what does it all mean? Well, in your house, more than likely, if you're just in a residential neighborhood, you will have single phase power. And what that means is that there is one single phase of power coming into your home. And generally speaking, you will have uh, receptacles around the place, power points, we call them in Australia, outlets, if you will, where you're plugging in toasters and phone chargers and different things. And that generally is single phase power. Most residential places have single phase power. Now, you may note that there are different sizes of plugs or different amps of plugs uh, for different things. So you may pull out your uh, clothes dryer or your washing machine and they may have a plug on it that looks a little bit like this. That still is a single phase outlet, but that's what we call a 20 amp circuit. And 20 amps is a bit more robust, generally a larger piece of equipment, something that has a larger motor in it, um, will run on single phase still, uh, but a 20 amp plug, whereas most of your appliances, again, toasters, phone chargers, lamps, and so forth, televisions, will use a 10 or a 15 amp plug, okay? So that's single phase, uh, relatively easy. Most people are very familiar with it. It's coursing through the room that you're probably sitting in right now. Uh, so, uh, if that's so commonly used, what is three phase? Now, three phase power, is generally um, used in more commercial, industrial uh, areas or buildings, something where you know you're gonna be using some heavier equipment, larger motors, larger compressors and so forth. And so that is a much more consistent, stronger power source. This is single phase, one phase coming into the building. A three phase power has a second and then a third phase of power coming through. And you can see, even just by looking at that, that the power that's coming into the building, the power that's being dispensed from this three-phase outlet is much stronger, much more consistent than that of a single phase power outlet. What is better, what is worse? Look, generally speaking, if you can get three phase power into your building, that's a little bit better on a number of different reasons. One, you do uh, get your power bills will be cheaper. So you've got larger motors that are running on a much more efficient power source. Generally your utility bills, power bills will go down. Uh, generally speaking, your equipment will last longer because the motor in it doesn't have to work as hard. I kind of equate it to, if you're a car buff, um, this is a four-cylinder motor. Um, so something like a Honda Accord or a Honda Civic, much smaller motor, doesn't last as long, doesn't get as many miles on the clock. Um, Three-phase is a V8. 
Um, I drive an old Toyota Sequoia. It's got a V8 engine in it. I think it's done 280,000 miles. It just keeps on ticking because it's got a much more robust power source to it. And so that's what this process is. Now, equipment companies, the larger equipment companies, um, the folks like Electrofreeze and Catabriga, uh, Stolting, Taylor, um, Carbajani, all make equipment in those two power settings. So if you're in a building, and if you're in a building that only has single phase power in it, it's probably because it's in an older part of town. It may have been a building that perhaps was not originally designed for industrial or commercial premises. It might have been a house or some kind of barn or whatever it is, uh, and it only needed single phase in there. Um, if you've got single phase power in there, you do need to let your uh, equipment people know, look, I've only got single phase power. The last thing you want to do is bring a three phase machine into um, a, a single phase unit uh, and then you've kind of got all sorts of worries. Similarly, a lot of the equipment companies make them in three phase as well. Um, look, personally speaking, if you can get three phase into your building, if it's not there already, talk to the power company. It's typically not a landlord question, it's a power company question. Uh, talk to them, see the quoting getting it in. Generally, it's quite expensive. I've never really heard unless the line's going right past your business. Uh, less than fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. So it might be worth the investment over a long period of time. Uh, but certainly, equipment manufacturers are making them in uh, single phase or three phase. We do get questions about power converters. I do want to do that in another video. The pros and cons. Uh, but that's about it for this video. Uh, again, really important to know the difference between single phase, three phase, how many amps you have in your building. That's another video coming up as well. Uh, and there you have it. That's what we're covering in this video. Hopefully it's helpful to you. I do want to thank our episode sponsor again, Slices Concession, slicesconcession.com. Keep on scooping, folks. We'll see you in the next video.